Bifurcation means separation. In the case of dentistry, this refers to the splitting up of the roots of teeth that have several roots. In the upper jaw, this is called trifurcation, since the molars of the upper jaw have three roots. And in the lower jaw, this is called bifurcation, as molars in the lower jaw have two roots. Here you can see a tooth with a crown going over into the root stem. In the picture, it is easy to see this transitional zone, called the enamel cement line. The roots of a tooth are not covered in enamel, as is the crown, but with a material similar to bone, the root cement. The root stem then splits into the roots, and the area where this takes place is called the furcation. Here we have a three-root tooth, therefore a trifurcation. The root stem is usually surrounded by bone. If bone recedes due to bacterial inflammation during periodontitis, then the root stem, and even the furcation, can be exposed. Bacteria immediately invade this area, which is difficult to clean. Bone recession continues unchecked. Scars form in the furcation, known as granulation tissue. There are various degrees of severity. Here you can see a tooth around which the bone has receded due to periodontitis. In the furcation, there forms tissue altered by inflammation and many bacteria. If a probe goes more than 3 mm deep into the furcation, this is a level 1 furcation defect. Up to 6 mm means level 2, and if the probe goes all the way through the furcation, then this is level 3. It is thus important to stop the bacterial inflammation, otherwise more and more bone will be lost, until the tooth is lost completely. In order to stop this inflammation, the bacterial hideout has to again be cleared of bacteria, so you can clean it again. As using a normal toothbrush, you can only get smooth, easily accessible surfaces clean, while the bristles cannot get through to the furcation. Furcation defects of levels 1 and 2 are relatively easy to treat, for example by constructing the lost bone, periodontium. In the case of level 3 defects, regeneration is no longer possible, but the inflammation can be held in check by cleaning. But you must be able to clean the level 3 defect, for example using interdental brushes. To enable you to clean thoroughly and painlessly, the dentist can enlarge the furcation slightly, a procedure called tunneling. Here you can see an x-ray of a molar, and the receded bone in the area of the furcation. The dentist first tunneled the tooth, making the dark spot on the x-ray easier to see. If the anatomy of the root is not really suited for tunneling, then the dentist can amputate the root and treat a furcation defect in this way. In our example, tunneling did not stop the inflammation, so that a root amputation was performed. You can see that bone has formed where the root once was. The x-ray was taken one year after root amputation. Sometimes premolarization can be performed instead of a root amputation. The dentist makes two teeth out of one. According to the severity of the furcation defect and the anatomy of the tooth, the dentist can choose one or the other technique. But the aim is always to take away the niche of the bacteria which caused the periodontitis. And this happens once you are able to clean the area.